Today I'm going to talk about a quick tip to catch more fish during pre-spawn and spawning time for bass. Right now I'm currently throwing a little finesse jig and what I'm doing is I'm standing so I can parallel cast the shorelines. In the spring these fish want to get as shallow as possible when they lay their eggs and when they spawn. So what I like to do is find a nice spot where I can make long casts both in front of me and behind me so I can cover the most amount of water while fishing on shore. So all you want to do is get that jig or whatever you're throwing, a crankbait, about a foot off the bank and you want to work that all the way back so that your bait is staying in the strike zone the whole time. I'm Jim O'Neill and that's another tip on Midwest Outdoors. Here on the hour time, um, we record every fish that we catch. We keep a log on everything, um, lures, presentation, depth. The reason that we do that is just so that when we look back at the end of the day or throughout the day, any type of um, pattern that we have, it's good to, to be able to go back and say, well, we got a fish in 136 feet of water and this is what the lure was. And then we just can be able to stay on the fish as far as targeting them for the next time that we go out. It's just a lot of information that's out there that if you don't write it down, you forget what happened and you can see what the patterns were. I'm Rita Bachman and that's another tip on Midwest Outdoors. For all you trout liners out there, you know, a lot of times when you're putting your, uh, your trout line together, you don't have a really good way to secure the hooks. Well, I'm out here with Florent Delanu and he's showing me a really cool method where he has drilled actually holes all around the rim of his trot line here. Uh, Florent, tell us uh, you know, why you do that. So that way I can secure the hooks to it and when I'm baiting the line, I let go and it's gonna stop right there. So it keeps your, your hooks Secure. Yeah, secure, and when you bait it, you don't have to worry about always holding your line so it's not gonna un un just keep unwinding. So next time you're putting together your power line rig, maybe think about a bigger reel with holes around the side, and uh, you can keep your whole rig a little bit cleaner and easier to bait, bring back in, and you don't accidentally lose your whole uh, rig into the water. Hey, I'm Dennis LaPel. That's another tip on Midwest Outdoors.